strong not just in church, but strong in, the, in, in their fields, in their life, and they don't have to feel guilty for not being present here. So I said, listen, from now on, now we do good, and we don't always make the mark, but now on, every midweek service that we have, we're out by 815. What does that do? It lets people know I can trust my pastor and I know I'm going to be home to have my kids in the bed by 9 o'clock, 9 15. So now, instead of a parent saying to me, well, pastor, I can't go because I'll just be in there all night on Wednesday. They don't have an excuse. I took the excuse from them. Then, then what another thing we did, we did, um, we did this thing a couple years ago. We called Simplify, um, Solidify, and Maximize. I realized we had all these ministries. We had... Um, we had a young adult ministry, we had a singles ministry, we had a women's ministry, we had all these ministries, right? And the truth of the matter, the same people that was in the singles ministry was in the young adult ministry, the same people in the young adult ministry was in the college ministry. And I had to say, what are we doing? Let's simplify this thing. Let the women be every, every quarter, rather than every week, every month. So people can experience things. Let them be able to have vacations without just being on a church trip to, right. to the theme park. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Amen. And we wonder why people are leaving the Pentecostal church to go to these. <laughs> so even in a Pentecostal church, we got to realize that presence throughout the week doesn't necessarily mean spirituality. Right. We got to be all right. Y'all all right? Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, okay, I'm not going to be able to get through all this. 